Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be looking at where the fuse panel locations are on the Yukon. It should be pretty similar on the Silverado, the Sierra, the Tahoe, Suburban. Um, but it's really nice, they do have a lot of diagrams on the cover. So if you just flip it over, you'll be able to see that as well. Uh, this is also shown in 10-32 in your owner's manual, if you have an owner's manual. And uh, there are pretty much abbreviations on the cover, so it helps in the owner's manual. It gives you a little bit more information. But under the hood, we're just going to push these two tabs and lift this cover out of the way. And this is where one of the main panels is. And this will be for a lot of your items like the electrical running boards, anti-lock brakes, suspension leveling, four-wheel drive transfer case, and uh, if you'll notice, a lot of these are written out uh, numerically, and the fuse starts from right and goes to the left. So just keep in mind that. And it doesn't tell you the fuse rating. You just have to know whatever fuse it is that you pulled out of there is the fuse that you would want to replace. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, this will also have your trailer stop and turn signals, a fuel pump power module, a lot of those different items. So check the video description. I'll put a list of these all in order in case you can't read your cover or it's been faded or something like that. But uh, otherwise, it is really nice that it has a lot of these items listed underneath it. So again, make sure you follow the diagram. And it is written, the location of the fuses and relays does start on the right-hand side and go to the left as the numbers go up. So. Uh, might be a little bit confusing at first. So anyway, you can pause the video for that diagram or look it up in your owner's manual or again on the back of the cover it has the diagram and then the uh, fuse spots uh, listed in what they do. The next location that we're going to look is in the rear. So we're going to pop the lift gate here and so this is going to be under the same cover that uh, has your spare tire jack. And so you're going to pop it where the handle is here and then pull it back towards the back of the vehicle. It does have tabs on the front of it. And uh, this one didn't seem to have a diagram. Um, so it is in the owner's manual and I'll put a list in order what they do as well. But this is going to have like the second row heated seats, the lift gate, uh, the glass that lifts up, and uh, the rear heater ventilation for the air conditioning blower, uh, the second row seat, and those kind of items. And so this one, it starts with the relay at the top right that says GM on it. That's number one. And then number two is then on the far left. And then it works its way down three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. And it counts the relay again as one of those numbers and then goes to the next column. Uh, the next one is going to be a hidden one. This, when you open up the door and you look over here, this panel right here actually comes off. It's a little nerve-wracking because uh, it doesn't look like it really comes apart, but it does. So what you want to do is just reach down here towards the bottom, get your hand under there, and start prying on it. And just pull straight away. A um, little nerve-wracking again, but just pop it off, and uh, this panel will come apart. And so this is going to have a lot of like the garage door opener, some body control harnesses, heater ventilation, air conditioning, um, stuff there, the instrument cluster, and, and some things like that. And so this one does have a diagram on the back of it as well, which is really nice, as well as a few spare fuses. So uh, that's what those are there for, and it has a little fuse puller. Just use that like a pair of tweezers. And so this diagram is pretty clear, which is really nice too. And so uh, you can pause the video here or again check the video description. I'll put a list of these in order. And so you'll have the same thing on the passenger side. I didn't uh, pop this one open for the video, but it's uh, the same thing. You just reach down there, pop this uh, panel off. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, I'm going to put in the video description each of these compartments and in order kind of where they go and maybe some notes if it starts like this one where you read from right to left. That's a little confusing. But uh, please check the video description. I have other videos that are similar to this, uh, everything that I've done on the Yukon. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.